So many different roles can pivot into cybersecurity and mechanics are absolutely included in that space. Now, mechanics, if you think about it for a second, they're dealing with complex machinery. They're dealing with people who are having tough days. There is a lot of opportunity and parallels to be seen. In this episode, we are going to be talking with Jared Burroughs, who was a mechanic for 13 years, who has transitioned and cycled into cybersecurity as a practitioner. It's an amazing story. He's going to tell us why he made that decision to move into cyber, what challenges he faced along the journey in his progression to transition, what skills did he pick up as a mechanic that were directly applicable and immediately transferable into the cybersecurity industry, and what lessons learned you can take advantage of to follow follow that same path. Let's go get Jared. Hey, Jared, thanks for being with us today and sharing your story. Can you tell me, why did you want to move from being a mechanic into cybersecurity? Uh, for me, it was health health reasons. Uh, I had some knee issues. It kind of forced me out of the shop and moved into a more corporate uh, white collar setting. And I really worked uh, hard to bring some value to some customers, still using my automotive knowledge but the uh, promotional status from there was pretty straightforward to a supervisor. It takes a special kind of person to be able to supervise and develop people. And I didn't feel I had that skill set, So I, I wanted to return to school and I decided to study cybersecurity. Interesting. So it sounds like uh, just physical wear and tear on the body, uh, career growth potentials, essentially, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought of the physical toll on the body, but I guess you are really moving quite a bit, lifting heavy things and really uh, basically working out for eight to 10 hours a day. Yep. It, it kind of beats you down and it takes a, a special kind of person to be able to withstand that kind of uh, wear and tear over a long period of time. Um, and I just, I couldn't do it. So. All right. So clear, clear reason to move into cybersecurity. I love it. Uh, I'm curious, why choose cybersecurity over other fields to pivot into? There was a couple factors with that one. My family's always been into uh, tech. My father was a software quality engineer for a very long time for big company. Um, so we've always had our hand in, in tech in some way, shape or form. Cybersecurity is kind of that big growing field. Um, job security was a huge thing for me. Uh, I worked in a union shop prior to, so I wanted to make sure that I was always going to be able to have mm -hmm. a job with everything being online now and, and everything being connected. I mean, there's no, there's not gonna be any kind of shortage of uh, cybersecurity professionals needed. So it felt like it was a safe move to go into. And plus it was interesting. I mean, there's so much to study. Oh yeah, absolutely. You'll never, never get it all. You can't, you can't catch them all. What, uh, what type of challenges did you face on your journey into cybersecurity? My personal challenge, my personal biggest challenge was, um, I'm always, I'm, I'm still have this challenge. Uh, I'm always chomping at the bit. I, I have a tendency to oversaturate myself whenever I'm trying to learn something. I'll be going 100 miles an hour all day long, trying to take in as much information as I can. And sometimes some of it doesn't stick. Then that's the unfortunate part of it. So you have to learn to pump the brakes every now and again, be able to actually retain the information you're taking in. Yeah, really, really, really good point. Really focus and just, did you face any challenges when you like were ready to actually start applying and getting the job? Uh, no, I, I was fortunate enough to work within a company that everyone was super, um, I tried to base myself around a lot of people who had experience in the field, whether they were working in the field currently or not. I tried to position myself next to those people just to try and gain and, and leech as much information and experience from them as I could. So I was fortunate enough to be able to manipulate my position within the company that I was in to, to gain some of that experience. So actually breaking in wasn't as difficult for me. Um, I had networked pretty well. Networking is huge. That, that's mm -hmm. the key. Yeah, great, great point. Uh, great great point networking is critically important and if you're if you're watching this like listen to what he's saying he said you know identifying those key people that he can partner with and and help shadow and help uh gain information from people people do enjoy talk especially people in cybersecurity love talking about cybersecurity so there's no shortage of opportunity there so jared as a mechanic what type of skills did you have developed at those 13 years that you felt could transfer really easily and deliver value in a cybersecurity role? So one of the key problems that, uh, you know, you, you constantly see and you read online is, is technical people speaking technicals talk to non-technical people. And working as a mechanic for so long, uh, most people don't understand the inner workings of a car or the lingo or the terminology or anything along those lines. So you have to learn to kind of speak on their level so that they understand and they can you know, get the grasp of the situation of what's actually going on with their vehicle. And I, I feel like uh, that really translates in this in this uh, arena really well. That is a good point. So uh, c communicating to different audiences in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. uh, great, great point. So if you were going to go back in time and talk to Jared on day one, 
or you know some aspiring mechanic who's watching this video going holy crap this is actually this this resonates with me this could be me what 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 kind of lessons learned did you pick up along the way that could help them out commitment is huge uh you really got to commit to it you don't have to commit to it to the degree that i did um i sold all my tools and everything once oh, wow. i got out of the shop there was no going back it was a full commitment full send I wanted to learn and uh, I wanted to to better myself and that's what it's all about right you you really got to you really got to push yourself if you want to see the better your better portion of yourself you got to really push it so for me it was full commitment I wanted to go and uh, I if I had to go back I tell myself hey don't worry about it just go full full commit I love it Jared burns the boats there's no there's no going back <laughs> I love it. What so, Jared? Just another kind of uh, lesson learned. I'm curious about. You know, you had mentioned like getting inundated with so many different things to study and kind of uh, getting distracted and stuff. Any lessons learned from learning a new skill or learning a specific uh, capability within cybersecurity that you know you could apply? Patience. I run into a lot of times I don't understand a technology or. A a piece of policy or something along those lines and you may not get it first off having the patience to continue to research it and to continue to look into it and to ask for help if you need for help uh you know you need help you know you might you need to ask for it um there's tons of people tons of resources like yourself out there that are more than willing to help on any any any, any issue that you're running into so patience would be a, a great thing to, to learn another thing that i think you know like i said before uh, pumping the brakes learning to understand when you've reached your limit and to, you know, stand up, walk around, step away for a minute and come back to it with a fresh mind. Uh, those are those are the two big ones for me. Those are excellent points. And just to kind of echo on top of what Jared's saying, if you are looking for a community or a network in order to bounce ideas or kind of get clarification, ask questions and not be flamed for asking the questions. I want to give a shout out to the Simply Cyber Discord community. There'll be a link in the description below. You can join. There's thousands of cybersecurity professionals and people looking to break into cybersecurity in that server. It's a very inclusive, very supportive community, and you can get some of the um, support like Jared is mentioning here in the video. So Jared, thank you uh, so much. Really inspiring story. And if you're a mechanic and you're thinking like this could be you, um, definitely heed Jared's words. He's made the transition. He's done it. He works in cybersecurity. It's a great story. Thanks so much for your time, Jared. Hey, thanks for having me. I had a good time. Absolutely.